This video is about Unrailed, a game about working as a team to lay tracks in front of a moving train. The game is pretty simple to pick up and play, but there are a lot of small ways for players to optimize workflow, movement, and there's a lot of mechanics that are not directly explained. So I'm going to teach you about just one of those aspects, the bucket. As you play the game, the water wagon slowly changes from blue to red. After 30 seconds, both the water car and engine will catch fire. Left alone, the fire will spread to other wagons, making them unusable and causing dynamite to explode. In the shop, you can upgrade the water cart twice, each upgrade adding 30 seconds to your timer. Since you're able to fill the water at the engine, it's basically universally agreed that it's best to move the water cart to the back of the train to give you more options in refilling. I also suggest enabling colorblind mode in the settings that adds a little bar at the engine for a clearer look at the timer. In the first biome, there's plenty of rivers and lakes to refill the bucket at, as well as frequent rainfalls that will cool the engine. Rainfall will also refill the bucket if it's left on the ground. To fill the bucket at a water source, stand next to the body of water while holding the bucket. And note that the game determines whether the filling happens based on the actual position of the bucket in your hands, not the tile where your character is standing. So you can move while filling the bucket, which helps save on travel time. And bridge tiles over water can still be used for filling. One thing I like to do when the train is near water or on a bridge is stand right at the engine for an instant refill. Okay, I'm going to move on to some biome-specific stuff, so there's minor spoilers ahead. In the desert biome, it no longer rains, and there's fewer water sources, so it's good to have a fully upgraded water wagon before moving here. Camels will move towards and drink water out of your bucket if it's left on the ground, so I advise leaving it unfilled when you can. Or you can fill it, use it to kind of herd the camels out of your way. In the winter biome, a filled bucket can be used to clear the snow on the ground. Just be careful not to accidentally empty your bucket at the train while doing this. In the lava biome, you'll need to use the steam vents to fill the bucket. Once again, you can still fill while moving over adjacent vents. They operate similar to bridges over water in this way. Also note that you can't build tracks over the steam vents. Lastly, the hostile lava blobs can be put out using the water bucket. But keep an eye on them because they like to hop back in the lava to relight themselves. And that's pretty much it. After the lava biome, there's a huge change in what the water cart does and what the bucket does, so we'll just stop there. One thing I didn't really get into is the Buccinator cart because I haven't really used it that much, but it's a pretty good cart. You should definitely try it out. Let me know if you learned anything or if there's anything I missed. Bye.